Hi, Shao Iris here. I'm a choreographer and dancer, and today I'm going to be reacting to Kai Spoiler Dance Practice. Now, there's something I need to say regarding negative comments I get surrounding Kai. Um, if you don't want to listen to my rant, then I'm going to put a timestamp in the description below of when the reaction actually starts, and you can just skip to that. Um, but for those of you who want to hear what I have to say, um, I don't mind, I got a lot of comments last year regarding how unprofessional I am, um, that clearly I have a favourite, clearly this channel is all about Kai, um, it, it was just um, having a go at my credibility as a choreographer I guess. Obviously it's up to me if I choose to react to these comments or let them affect me in any way, shape or form. And to be honest with you, I don't really care what people think. However, recently, people have been, I think maybe because they haven't got a reaction out of me, they've now been going into other videos that have nothing to do with Kai and commenting under other people's comments and getting my subscribers involved in back and forth kind of negative comments and just annoying my subscribers. Now, this is where I feel like I need to say something because people come onto my channel, they watch my videos, they leave a comment, then they get on with their lives. Nobody wants to come back to YouTube and just see that their comment has been spammed with all this negativity, okay? Leave my subscribers alone. It, I'm not going to answer you. I've decided from now on, I'm just gonna block you if you say anything negative, okay? Now, I'm going to, I'm gonna tell you something that's really gonna shock you. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? I am not EXO's choreographer. I know, right? Unbelievable. I do not go into the studio, pull Kai to one side, give him the best choreo, completely disregard the other members, and stay with him until he's polished and comfortable with his routine. That would be unprofessional. I just react. I sit here and my channel is a vibe, okay? People tell me what to react to. And I react. No, last year, no one had given me anyone else from EXO. I had a lot of requests for Kai, so I request, so I react to Kai. Naturally, I'm not just going to pick a random member and react to him and then upload it on YouTube when no one's even asked for that reaction, am I? Okay, people are now starting to mention other members of EXO and I have them on my list. I didn't. I wasn't actually going to get back to Kai until February, but I just really feel like I needed to say this because now my subscribers are being bothered and that's really, that's just not cool. That's not cool, okay? I react, okay? I watch what people tell me they'd like me to see I pick up choreography and hopefully you pick up something from my videos because I can't help but talk about the dance aspect. Kai just happens to be somebody who I really vibe with. If this was an American hip hop choreography channel, you would be seeing a lot of Chris Brown, okay? For me, he's one of the best dancers in terms of technique. He'll do the same move, but 15 different ways. And there is so much to say about him. Like, I can't stop talking about Chris Brown and his technique because there is so much to say. And that's exactly how I feel about Kai. There is so much to say about this man. You do not have to like him. You do not have to like the fact that I like him. But what you can do is stop trolling my subscribers. If you want to say something to me, say something to me. That's fine. Okay? Sometimes I respond. And I know they're sarcastic comments, but seriously, do not have anything better to do with your time. Okay? The negativity I got with Chunga, if I wanted to, I could have just completely deleted that video. I'm, I couldn't, have, I didn't even have to upload it knowing that I was going to get a negative response. I just don't vibe with her. Okay. And that's okay. That doesn't make me unprofessional. As a choreographer, there are styles of dances that I just don't like. And that's okay. Are you telling me a movie buff has to like every single movie? Or can there be some genres or even films that they don't like? I used to be a teacher. I used to teach in a primary school. All subjects. Because I enjoyed teaching, 
did I have to enjoy every single subject? No. Hated math. What was my favourite subject to teach? Music. What am I doing now? Teaching music. So I went in the direction that I wanted to go. I didn't sit there and complain like you lot are doing on my channel. Just complaining and complaining. I have a bias. Why is not my bias? So if you're trying to call me unprofessional and you don't even know that it's lay, then clearly I'm not being unprofessional, am I? Okay? There are people that come to my dance studio who I might not be the right fit of a choreographer for them, and that's okay. You you test and you trial things. Chunga wasn't for me. I never once said she was a bad dancer. I just said that I didn't vibe with her energy, and that's okay. That's perfectly okay. It's my prerogative as a human being and as a choreographer to like and dislike who I want, okay? So leave my subscribers alone. Nobody cares that you're bothered that I like Kai. Nobody cares. Okay, nobody cares that you think I'm profession unprofessional. That's your un uneducated opinion, all right? Leave my subscribers alone. If anyone says anything to anyone on any comment in any video, I'm just going to block you because there's no negativity on my channel, okay? We vibe here. We just come here. We have fun. We learn about dance. We move on, all right? Okay. Done. Let's react. Okay, already I really like the outfit because it's showing his knees. His knees are quite popping. Look, look there. I mean, I'm not sure if I've ever noticed it before, but his knees are quite sharp, aren't they? That's very, um, that's obviously great formation in his legs. know something that dancers that power dancers the dancers that bring loads of energy and have like this really street style something that we're taught it's not taught universally but it has been taught from time to time by different choreographers and different studios and companies but you treat the camera like it's your enemy this isn't something that I teach but I, I get where people are coming from when they say that because you're really like you're really going for it you're attacking the camera like you you know you're pushing the camera away you're bringing it forward you're showing the camera who's boss but they always say to you if you want to get into a mentality where you have that street style and you you don't really feel confident with your technique treat the camera like it's your enemy and just just go for it like you're about to get in a fight I think that's what Kai does sometimes Such a quick stepper, his footwork is so fast.
always looks like he's freestyling. I can see that it's been it's choreography. Um, it's something that's been given to him, but he always gives off the impression as though he's just vibing to a song, like he's making it up as he goes along because it's just so natural. I've said it before, but you see in his face, he really doesn't need to think about what he's doing. Like he's so relaxed and conscious in every part of his body that he can just go with the flow. I, it, it makes me think that like if, if he was on stage and his song was playing and I don't know, something disrupted the sound system and some other random song he's never heard of started playing, he would just carry on dancing. He'd find the beat in the song and he'd just vibe to it as though it was intentional. Like that's the power that Kai has. See, I wouldn't be surprised if this part here is a freestyle because it's, it's so nice as a choreographer when you have a dance and you just leave them alone and you've got like, I don't know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds in a song and after you've done the choreography, like I can say to some of my dancers, okay, just just freestyle in this part and they can make... The thing, thing about dancers is when they freestyle, you kind of, you either generate something very familiar and the more you do the, the dance the more you design your own choreography because you're starting to do the same thing or you can do completely different freestyle in, in those 20 seconds every time you perform. Like it's, it's, it's a great tool for a choreographer and a dancer. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's freestyling. <laughs> he's just saying. The camera is not his enemy, okay? He flirts with the camera, right? Right, okay, so thank you for that recommendation. I am getting to more members of EXO. They are on my list, but I just wanted to bump this up. Okay, so subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a good day, everyone.